welcome to the Yellow and Luna channel. On today's video, we're going to be unboxing some birthday goodies. I've been stockpiling some of my favorite series for the past few months, and I am so excited to open them up in today's video. I did end up filming this a bit after my birthday because I was on vacation in Vancouver. I'm definitely going to have vlogs of that coming up on the channel in July, so keep your eye out for that. But for now, we have a bunch of random things that I was really excited to open for my birthday and do a big birthday unboxing. I don't know how long this video is going to end up being after I edit it, so if it's too long, it might be a two-parter. But don't worry, if you do see that this is part one, part two will be the following day, so you won't have to wait long. And you can see there's a ton of things that I have to open up today. And I think we're going to start off with an anime scale figure, which I picked up from Ami Ami. This scale figure is actually an original character, so it's not from a specific anime series. And I absolutely love this scale figure. I've been really excited to open it. I've had it for a while and haven't opened it up yet. So let's go ahead and open this up first, and then we'll get into some blind boxes. And this character is called Pelicanus, which for some reason just reminds me of pelicans. Although, I definitely don't think this figure looks like a pelican. It does have a bird skull on it, so maybe it's inspired by pelicans. But this was an original garage kit from Black Cat that's been made into a 1 7th scale figure. I definitely think the size is really good for a 1 7th. I feel like it's pretty big. It was pretty easy to put together. We of course have a stand. We have our lamp detail that is made out of skull heads. We have a chair for the character to sit on. And then of course we have our main female character. And we have two wings that came separately to attach to the back. These wings are really, really fragile, so I'm glad they came separate. It was a bit nerve-wracking attaching them. I thought I might break them. The smaller wing was pretty hard to put on, so I kept thinking that I had it in correctly, and I did. When I finally got it on, though, it was pretty secure, but it was very nerve-wracking. And I got this original character just because I loved the design. I love the gothy vibes for it. I love the wings. I really enjoyed how it had skeleton wings. I thought that was such a cool detail. And the outfit is really beautiful. We have some clear vinyl details and it's very purpley and gorgeous. And we do have our gold bird skull on the head. And the hair is this kind of soft valander gray color, which I love. And this figure is just really beautiful. I love all of the details and I'll be sure to do a lot of close-ups. And I don't know if I show it off really well in this video and my b-roll, but the back of our beautiful lady is also clear vinyl and you can kind of see the spine. It's a bit muddy. I think it comes across a bit better in the pictures than it does in real life, but I love the fact that the back of the figure is clear vinyl and we can see the spine. It just goes so well with the wings and the vibe of everything. You may notice the lamp is moving in the breeze. Every time I rotate this figure or move it even slightly, the lamp seems to vibrate quite heavily, which obviously is not an issue once you have it set up. And yeah, our pelicanus is just removing the shoe. I really love the expression on the face. It's just kind of whimsical, maybe kind of scared with the red eyes. I think it would have been nicer if it had a bit more details, but I love this figure. It's so beautiful. It's everything that I was expecting from it, and I think it is just gorgeous and beautiful. And I did get it for a really good price, so I think it's absolutely worth the price. I forgot how much in yen it was, but I'll put it up on this screen so you can see. But I hope you had fun having a look at this figure at the start of the video. I absolutely love it, and I'm so glad I finally unboxed it. I will probably be doing more anime unboxings on my channel, because my collection is starting to grow, and I would love to share it with all of you. 
Let's go ahead and move on to some of the blind boxes. As you can see, I have a full case of Emma from MJ Studio, and this is the birthday series. I think I bought this almost six months ago, but I thought I would keep it for my birthday. And let's go ahead and open this up first. We're just going to need to cut the plastic. I believe we have eight blind boxes here inside so I'm really excited and I'll show you the box as well so you can have a look it is super beautiful I really like the front it kind of looks like maybe like a Beatrix Potter book it has that similar vibe but the design on the front is so beautiful and on the very back of the packaging here let me turn it the right way around you can see all of the eight options that we can get. And the Secret Edition is one of my favorite Emma Secret Editions. So I'm really hoping I get the secret in today's video. That would be really awesome. I love all the figures though, which is why I got the full case. I think the only one I'm not feeling is the plate style one. But let's hope for the Secret Edition and no plate. That would be amazing. So we're going to open this up in between opening other series, I think. And Butter has kind of just sandwiched herself in between me and where the boxes are. And for other series, we have the new Lord of the Rings series from Pop Mart. I bought one of these from the online AliExpress store. I'm really excited to open it up, even though this series is kinda ugly. And I've been loving Instinct Toy lately, so I have the Relax series. I have one of my favorite Zuton series from Finding Unicorn. Butter is sitting on our Kiki Phantom Mirage blind box. And we have a Chino's Lord. This is actually a plush blind box. I'm so excited to see which one we got. And we have Mumia, which I haven't opened up on my channel yet. I do have more of these for other videos, so I'm really excited to see who we have inside of that. I'm really excited to get the new series of this beautiful character. So in total, I think we have 16 blind boxes to open up today. I think since we have a full case of Emma, let's just open it up and grab one of them to start. All right, so this is our cute Emma packaging. We have the candle one on the front, which is super pretty. And those are all of the other designs. So let's see who our first Emma is from the birthday series. And I'm excited to see the bag for this because they've been doing special bags lately. They're not special to the, each series. Oh, it looks like it's the regular bag. So this is what the bag used to look like. They have a new bag design now that they've done for the last like three series, maybe only two series, but it's a really pretty design. I prefer it over this black one. And I think we got a really small figure. So maybe this is the candle one. One, two, three. Oh, it's the present one. This one's one of my favorites. This one is gorgeous. Let's have a look at the card. And we have a super heavy, ooh, is this a weight? I'll show a close up of this, but it is metal and it does say Emma on it. And we have our two cards. One of these is just a card we'll get for every single box. And it just has a QR code in the back. And then this is the character card. So here's a closer look at our character card for Emma birthday party series. And this says a gift for you. And this is the fifth Emma series. I really love this card. It's very cute. And we've never had this for any other series, but we have a pink weight. And I don't know if you can see it's engraved and it says Emma. And I think down here, maybe it says birthday. I'm not 100% sure if we'll get this in every box, but this is a really heavy weight. It's kind of a weird thing to get inside of the box. And here is the beautiful gifts for you. I love the clear vinyl on this and the colors for it are so pretty. 
It looks like this one is one of the ones that is like a deer or a moose. We have some clear vinyl antlers at the top. And this one is just so pretty. It's one of my favorites from this series. So I'm glad we started off with this one. Just super cute. And I think maybe next I'll do one of the Kika ones or the only Kika one. This is Kika Mirage Phantom. And I opened it out without showing you the options, but the options for this series are kind of boring. It just gives you like a little mini look of what this series color is. So each one has a different kind of shiny gradient. They don't look a lot like on the side though. So it's better just to see the figure. I think I'm hoping for one that is like turquoisey green or maybe rainbow. Really metallic would be really fun. So let's have a look and see which one I got. One, two. Oh no, we got an orangey red one. Or it's kind of a hot pink. Maybe some would say this is a hot pink. Oh, uh, that's too bad. This is definitely not one of the colors I wanted. I'm not really a fan of red or orange. So I'm probably going to end up selling this and not keeping it because it doesn't really match the vibes of the rest of my collection. But look at how shiny this is. These Kikas are so cute. This is one of my favorite Kika series. I just love how shiny these are. And I can't remember if this is one of the ones I've gotten before. I haven't opened up many of these. Usually I open them up where they're not blind and I already know which color I'm getting. But I vaguely remember getting an orangey one. This one is beautiful though. As I said, it could be a hot pink too. These are really cool though. And we should have a card inside. And look at the super cool holographic card. Mirror Mirage, so cool, what a cute card. And on the back of the card, you can see the color we ended up getting. So this one is just P017. So we have our first disappointment of the day, but let's grab another one of these Emma birthday ones. This shouldn't be disappointing at all. I love all of these, although the plate one's kind of weird. I know a few series of Emma have had plates now, and I think this was the first series that did it. I don't really understand it. Or maybe it was poetry. I think poetry had a plate one too. But let's go ahead and have a look. Ooh, this one is, I think, I thought it was standing maybe but it's definitely not. Let's have a look and see which one I got. One, two, three. Oh, this one is super cute. This is the one that's in the teacup. Oh, look at the colors for this one. It's so pretty. This series isn't really pastel. It's kind of like mid-tone colors. A bit more a vibrant pastel, I would say. And we do have another one of those weird weights. So I guess we're going to get it for the whole series. And we do have our QR code. And here is the card. And this one is called Macchiato, like the coffee. I'm not sure quite what coffee has to do with birthday. But this is kind of just like a Lolita tea party theme. All of Emma's series are really Lolita in terms of fashion and kind of the inspiration behind this series. Even though I don't drink tea or coffee very much, I do absolutely love teacups. So this is still a really cute figure. And I absolutely adore the purple color. The purple color is so nice. And I think next I'm going to go for one of the minias. I'm so excited to see what these look like in person and check out the quality. And for this series, you can see we have six options here and a secret edition. And then on the back. And then on the side, we have six more options. And I think for a full case, you only get six boxes. 
So I think you get a combination of some with this colorway and some with this colorway. So you'll notice the figures are the same. They're just different colors, which is really cool. I think I prefer this side. I don't know though, I really like this one here. I love this kind of like mushroom one, the one that's on the front, but I definitely like it more in blue. Yeah, maybe this side's my favorite. I like the kind of darker colored ones and then we have some light ones too. There's some really great options where these two green ones and maybe this one, I'm not a huge fan of. And it says that there's two hidden editions. I believe there's just two colors of the secret. So it's a very interesting series. I don't think you get 12 though, even though it says 12, I'm pretty sure in a full case, there's only six. So let's go ahead and check it out. And it looks like it's gonna come in plastic, so it won't be a surprise once I pull it out. Oh, I got one of the ones I love. Oh, this one is so cool. This one is kind of like the Card Captor Sakura Sailor Mooney one. But I got it in this beautiful purple color. And look at that beautiful wand. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I got so lucky. This is definitely one of the ones that I wanted. This is fantastic for my birthday. <laughs> and it looks like the base rotates. So you can rotate the figure. That is so neat. I definitely will show this when I have it on a counter. Wow, look at this one, so cool. And let's get this wand out and see how we can attach it. This wand looks very, very fragile. All right, so I think it just goes like this. Oh, and it's this cute metallic purple. Wow, the colors for this are incredible. So we have the wand in. Let's have a look at what the card looks like for this series. Oh, very cute. So it looks exactly like the box. And we just have the character there. Oh, super pretty. And Google Translate translates the card to say purple cloud garlic. The dress kind of does look garlicky, so maybe the name is supposed to be garlic. It definitely looks like a purple cloud as well. Oh, I love this. This is such good quality. I think this character is just really amazing. I'm definitely getting the second series, probably like a full box too. Oh, this is like fantastic quality and I love all the metallic paint. The hat is so cool. I think it looks like a sundial maybe and it's a ram. I just love our metallic purple details for the wand mixed in with our more matte pastel for the hair in terms of purple. And then we have a bit of pink for the feet and the dress. This is so beautiful. I think this is one of the most beautifulest figures I've ever gotten. Not that that's a word. And I love that the base rotates. It definitely makes a lot of noise, but that is just so cool. I don't think I've ever seen a figure with a base that rotates at all. It might be a bit annoying, but when you display it, it probably won't move at all though. Oh wow, I really love this character. I could keep gushing about this one, but let's move on to the next box. And I think I'm gonna grab another Emma one. So we're on our third box of Emma. And who are we gonna get this time? I'm excited for the candle. The flower one is also really pretty as well. It's like a big sunflower. Ooh, this one is really heavy. So I think this might be the candle or the sunflower, but let's see. One, two, three. Oh, it is the candle. Oh, this one is so cute. I love that metallic blue bow as well. So cool. And here is the card. It is just called Cake Candle. And this one didn't come with any weight. It was a really heavy figure already. 
And I think the cake candle one was one of the most popular ones for the series because it's so unique for Emma. I think it's a really cool figure. I love the clear vinyl flame and it's very chunky in terms of the shape. I think it might be another bunny. It doesn't really have any distinct ears or anything since this is just drips of wax. So maybe it's a cat. Again, we have no tail, so it's kind of hard to determine what animal this is supposed to be. But we do have really cute cat paws at the front, and I love the metallic blue bow. Oh, this one is so pretty. I think this might be my favorite we've gotten so far from the Emma Birthday series. What do you think about the candle one, though? I think it's really cool. And I think I'm going to grab our Finding Unicorn box for this video. We only had one of them. This was our Zuton Dreamy Stage from Finding Unicorn. And this one is wrapped up in plastic. So let's just open up the plastic first. And I've opened up a lot from this series. So I'm hoping for the Secret Edition or one of the ones that I haven't gotten before. This one would be really cute. I'm missing the kitty one. This is one of my favorites too. And the secrets would be cool. Yeah, it's hard to say, but I do have a lot of these ones. So hopefully not a repeat. That would be fun. Let's go ahead and open this up though and see. My box got a bit damaged. And I love the packaging for this series. It is super cute. So pretty. Let's see which Zuton I got from Molinta. Ooh, and it's a really small one. One, two, three. Oh, I did get the cat one. Oh, and what is inside of here? Oh, I think this uh, stand was supposed to be inside of it. Oh, I'm so excited I got the cat one. And look, it matches my nails perfectly. And like all Finding Unicorn series, we have the card and the weight inside. And here is our character card for Naughty Kitty. I love the card for this series. And again, it matches my nails so perfectly. I didn't realize this figure was going to be shiny. I kind of wish it was all matte vinyl as I don't like the shininess as much as I like Mav, but it's still such a cute figure. I absolutely love the gothic vibes for this series. We have our cute little bat purse and our bat cat, and just the color combination is really cute. It's weird for this series how it's kind of like an apple stand. I wish this character didn't have a stand. I think it would be a lot cuter without a stand. And I don't know if the paint is really pearlescent. It's definitely shiny, but I don't think it's like pearlescent shiny. It's still super cute. I'm so happy to add more to my collection for this series. All right, let's go ahead and open up another one of our Emma birthday series. I'm really excited to see who we have inside. This definitely isn't as heavy feeling as the candle. I have a feeling the candle's probably one of the heaviest from this series. This one is definitely very big though. Let's see, one, two, three. Oh, it's this one. This one is so cute. We have some flocking in the back and it's one of the cat ones, but it's a gray cat with a giant, giant hat. And this one is called Emma's Reef. Very cute. This one also didn't have a weight at all for it. And what do you think of our gray cat with our pastel pink flowers? And I love the darker pink bow in the back and the fact that the hat is flocked as well as the back of the dress and our bow. They feel amazing. And I love our cute cat tail. Such a cute figure. This is one of the ones I really liked as well. I love the gray cats that Emma has and it is just really pretty. Oh, and it also has some flocking on the green. So the green is also flocked. So the little bow in the front is flocked as well. Oh, this one is so pretty. 
Every Emma series has one that has flocking on it. So this is the flocking one for the birthday series. And it's so pretty. I really love this one. It is really cool. And I don't know who should we do next. Maybe the instinct toy one. I'm kind of nervous to do the Lord of the Rings one. So maybe let's let's do instinct toy. This is the Relax series, and I bought this from my local store. So I picked this out myself, and I think I got one of our cat pumpkin ones. I've gotten two locally from my store before, and I ended up getting the Gold Vincent, which is awesome. And I got this rainbow mucky which is really cute i love muckies i really want the pastel mucky but i think it would be hard to get i'm not a huge fan of the cat and our panda character but i'm really hoping because this is another big box that maybe we got the cat with the pumpkin or another vincent i definitely don't think we got the secret edition though but let's go ahead and open it up and, oh, this one is very big. Oh, I don't think it's Vincent, though. Vincent is, like, huge. Vincent would be, like, the whole bag. Oh, this one's definitely not as big as I thought it was going to be. All right, let's go ahead and open, though, and see. One, two, three. Oh, we got another mucky, but we got the brown one. Oh, <laughs> his head comes right off. I was trying to just reveal his teeth. This is one of the first Instinct Toys series with Pop Mart. Oop, it might be the first series, I'm pretty sure. And the head mechanic doesn't work as well as it did with the larger figures or some of the newer Instinct Toys series. And I love the face on the back. Oh, this mucky is super cute. Oh, I was really hoping it was one of the pumpkin cats, though, for like a Halloween display. But this mucky is still super cute. So here's the card, and it just says mucky brown bear. Oh, I wish it was the pastel rainbow one. That would have been awesome. I do love the teeth, though. The teeth are such a cool element, and this is just a really fun series. I've definitely opened up quite a few. I definitely didn't think I was going to open up many of them when I saw it, but it's really fun to pick them out from my local store. This was one of the last ones available, so even though it's not one of the ones I was going for, it's still cute. 